Hey, I'm Eric Haugen. Here's all my pertinent information, my website, my Patreon, my Instagram. Uh, you can find me wherever music is streaming as well. If you're curious about the kind of music I make, just look up Eric Haugen where you listen to music. You'll be like, interesting. Today, um, oh, by the way, like my videos and subscribe to my channel. If this content is helping you out, it helps me when you do that. Win, win. Today we're talking about the Lydian mode. Boy golly. So yeah, we did Dorian. We did Mixolydian. Now let's do Lydian. And again, we're always going to go back to start with key of G. G chord. G bar chord. Join me, play a G bar chord. And then let's play a G major scale. Just one octave. And now, we can agree that the way modes work is that if you go G to G, that's the first mode. That's actually Ionian. It's also just plain old major scale. Hey, buddy. Now, if we went A to A, that's Dorian. And B to B and so on and so forth. Oh, D to D we also did. There's an interesting version of a D chord. Let's play that better. That's Mixolydian. So Lydian, and yeah, I'm not going linearly with modes. I'm just kind of doing the ones I like uh, and that show up the most. Dorian and Mixolydian show up the mostly, the muchly. And then Lydian, though, is G, A, B, C. If we started there, there's a C chord. So that's a G scale, but starting on C, going back to C, rotating around the tonal center of C. And notice, yeah, it gets weird. Yo. All right, so to understand modes, we ask questions and then we answer them. First question is, in this scenario, what key are we ultimately working in? What is our parent key? Well, I told you, it's G. So that helps us because that tells us what chords are ultimately in the key of G and therefore ultimately in the key of C Lydian. It's kind of like uh, dealing with modes, you have to kind of think of the mode area, but then also the parent key. You do have to kind of think of two keys at once. That's stupid and annoying, but that's just how it be. So yeah, those are the chords and that means those are the notes, but we're rotating around that C note and, and from C. So again, C chord. First question answered, C Lydian, ist, ist, really, G major. Don't worry about it, just know that, that there's the relationship. The next question we ask ourselves is, all right, dude, is this basically a major scale of some variety or is it a minor scale of some variety? Like, does it sound major or minor? It's major, because you can spot a major third. You know, that, that's the biggest giveaway. And of course, because it's built off of the C, the C is a major chord, it's boom, boom, boom. Uh, what is it? Talks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It's a duck. And then the next question we ask ourselves then is, if this is basically a major scale, in what way is it different than a, a regular major scale? What's, what's, what's weird here? Let me see, let's compare. If this was a regular C major scale, C, F, G, C. By the way, there's slow down gears in you, uh, on YouTube uh, where you adjust your settings. I don't know what device you're on, but spacebar pauses and arrows go forward and back um, if you're on a desktop. If you're on an iPad watching this, good luck. <laughs> um, all right, let's compare. That's the same, that's, oh yeah, so major scale if it was on C now. That's 
proper C major. All right, what's different then? Booyah! That F sharp there means we have a raised fourth. Simpsons, uh, Jetsons also. West Side Story. There's that, that sharp four to the five. So that means Lydian, isht, I don't know why I'm doing that today. I don't know why I do anything anymore. Um, Lydian is just a major scale with a sharp four. How weird and interesting, spooky. So it definitely means it, we can see it has a cartoony sound, but there is something interesting and dark about that. Um, so the, the reason that's cool for us to know is because that means, yo, listen, listen to the hipster. You don't have to memorize uh, 12 new forms of a scale to play Lydian. Just go to where your major scale is at and sharp the four. So for example, let's stay C major. There's standard C major off of that bar chord shape, right? Which by the way, everybody should know that. That's industry standard two octave major scale. Let's sharp the four. There's that first octave. Okay, what's up now? There would four be. There's that F. I could go like that, but eh, he's right there. It's cool because that gives us like this, this major scale that's somehow messed up and dark. That's weird. Um, okay, yeah, let's continue. Let's talk about um, now, the, the next big deal. So we know what a, what a Lydian scale is, we know how to make one. Neat. Then, here's the other thing that's a big deal about modes. <laughs> I'm gonna, let's use the phrase again. Listen to the aging hipster. Um, the context is so important. By the way, the context is so important for every lick you ever play. Licks don't happen in a vacuum. Melodies don't happen by themselves. So everything has to be interacting with a chord change in some way. And so in the case of a Lydian, or really any mode, it's always going to be rotating around the tonal center that has been decided that the mode is, and then a chord that also contains that spice note. So in the case of C Lydian, any chord that contains that F sharp is going to be a good option for a Lydian change, like R.E.M.'s Man on the Moon. So that's just C going back and forth to D. That's Lydian. And you know, listen to that melody. That's the other thing. You have to listen to the chords and kind of where that melody is kind of telling you where home is. So basically, a Lydian change, and really there's only one Lydian change, because all modes really this is important also. Uh, all modes are essentially very simple progressions. They're usually one to two chords that are rotating around, uh, you know, the tonal center of the mode itself. Like the second, here, let's pull up key of G again. The second you start hopping around to all those other chords in the key of G, your brain's going to be like, oh, that's key of G. That's for reals. So, you know, if you're trying to make up a modal progression, don't try and make it complicated because it's just going to end up sounding like the, the parent key. So, Lydian is, say this is one, anytime you have one moving up to a two that's major, that's a Lydian change. Let's give some other examples. One of my favorite ones. Tears for Fears. Everybody Wants to Rule the World. God, that's a great song. 
because what they got going on there is essentially an A to a G. Welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Even ah, it's so good for so many reasons. Okay, one swing time that makes everything catchy. Great leaping melody. They're also doing a really spicy thing where they're playing an A with with a D in the bass, so they're implying the original key across it. So they're really messing with you on that song. So that's, uh, that's G Lydian, by the way, because there's the one, there's the two, back and forth. Other Eric observation. Every hit song, it doesn't matter who wrote it or who it is, you get in there and you take it apart a little bit, there, there's always neat things going on. And that's, you know, music noticing. That's what, you know, one of my favorite things about my life and my job is like, I can, any, any song, I, like once I get in there and start poking around, I'm like, ooh, neat, 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 neat. Oh, why are people so smart? some of the others uh yeah you saw me play simpsons watch out with lydian there's sometimes with lydian where oh yeah the other modal progression is you can always throw a mode if the band is just staying on one chord for forever like if there's no chord change like led zeppelin dancing days <laughs> Oh, it's kind of funny because they put a flat third in there. So he's playing a Lydian melody on top, like a G Lydian thing. That's like Lydian-ish. <laughs> There's stuff like that. Uh, George Harrison, Isn't It a Pity? Is Lydian-ish. That's a G diminished, C over G. So G, it's that in the next line when it goes G up to an A7, that's, you're like, oh, is that Lydian? And then he's like, eh, C over G, back to G. You're like, oh, it's not exactly Lydian. So watch out, there are stuff that are like Lydian-ish. Oh, shoot, big star, feel. phaser on because yeah we're gonna get to some homework all right so your homework so okay just to review Lydian progressions are one to a two that's major because that has the spice note that's got that sharp four hiding in there or staying on one for forever you can actually throw whatever mode you want now homework you could always practice these things the the patented Haugen way not patented where let's say F Lydian so that'd be F back and forth G I use a one bar, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Lydian, fill, and one, two, three, four. So that's F major, sharp four. So that's always a good way to practice stuff, by the way. But now I have a looper pedal. Let me set that to loop. Let's see if this all works. I'm actually pretty terrible at using looper pedals. Let's lay, a, let, let's lay that groove down. Ah. Oh yeah, the dumb function on that with the effects level. And move it a little closer. It's like you have to have your foot just ready. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's find an F Lydian scale. Let's go up here. All right, now let's see. All right, all right, okay, let's go down. Hmm, anybody? 
reminding everybody of the song? Let's find out. Jump to the chorus. Fun. And what's that melody? So fun, Fleetwood Mac dreams. I hope by now we've all seen the viral video of that dude vibing out with the, he's on the skateboard, he's got the ocean spray. It's just, uh, that's, that's certainly a, a wonderful feel and mood. And yeah, Fleetwood Mac dreams, that's Lydian, F, F to G. Like every four months I have to deal with that knob. Mustang's been good today though. Thanks, buddy. Good work. Okay, now uh, some some questions that 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 I will probably see in the comments that are mm, you know they're not frustrating but they're they're wrong. Uh, the question will be, Eric, why can't I just play? Um, okay, so let's go back to C, right? C, Lydian. Yo, why can't I just like shred G across everything? It's because. When you shred G, when you play G, whether or not you're even aware of it, your phrases are actually in, inside your mind, they're rotating around the tonal center of G. So, like, it, it, nothing's really going to line up, and that type of playing is something I'm so philosophically opposed to. No, we don't need to know every single note that we're playing all the time, but we do need to know that we're interacting with chords and like, like you know, if I'm playing C Lydian, here I'll make another drone. Watch, I'll play G on this. Like, it's not wrong, I just, I sound lost. Why is nothing working? Oh, watch. That's like G major pentatonic. Bullshit. I know how I'm interacting right now. Let's get weirder. Again, if I did, <laughs> let's play Paradise City. Doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. That's why. 
<laughs> that's why you gotta you gotta respect the notes you gotta respect the intervals you gotta respect the backing track that you're playing along with it's not just dots on a fretboard that we throw our fingers at it's notes it's frequencies we are we are combining Where's my, where's my foods? We are combining spices in, in, a, in an oven and we're putting them together. You don't just blindly go through a supermarket and throw stuff together. It's not gonna work. Um, okay, I think, yeah, I covered everything. Thanks so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do. Uh, Cause you know I don't put ads on my channel. I don't make money from YouTube directly. I make my money from people booking lessons with me. I'm sorry I'm so booked out. That's a good problem for me to have. That means I've done a good job and I really appreciate it. I am legit sorry that there's not more availability. I'm gonna say it again. I'm legit sorry there's not more availability. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about it. Um, it's a good problem to have. <laughs> Someone said like, <laughs> you should just auction your time. But that's, that disagrees with like my whole thing about just being like a real dude from New Jersey, even though I live in North Carolina. Um, other things, yo, hot safety tip. <laughs> My, my kitchen almost burned down this week. <laughs> Did you know that your oven element, the heating element, when they get shitty, they just can light on fire? <laughs> this oven's only six years old. I was uh, heating up some tortillas to make some tacos. And uh, yeah, the, the thing just started sparking and arcing and, and fire. So uh, uh, yeah, I had fire extinguisher. So, you know, I'm still able to shoot. But uh, yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, I like to do my little public safety things. You know, do you have a fire extinguisher that works in your in your kitchen in your house? <laughs> do your do your do your uh, smoke detectors work? Whew. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, that's enough for today. Uh, as Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. And uh, I'll be back next week with an attempt to make open D slide guitar make sense. I really want yeah to share that because we talked about open D in the past, kind of demystifying it. And um, I think. I can like be like, dude, dude, we can do this. We can all do this. Let's do it. Let's do some open D slide. Cause I know a lot of people are like, I don't do slide. And I'm like, it's so fun. It's so beautiful. It's so expressive. So that's the plan for next week. Peace.